Tactile and spontaneous, Zara Tyndall and Queen body language suggests indulgent bond. Zara Tyndall is the eldest granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth II. Their body language may be contrasting in some ways, but an expert claimed they have a joyful relationship. Zara Tyndall and Queen Elizabeth II have enjoyed some public outings together over the years. What could their body language reveal about their bond? Zara is the only daughter of Princess Anne and she is the granddaughter of the Queen. Her role in the family could not be more different from the monarch, however. Zara does not have an official royal title and has not worked on behalf of the firm. This has led her to stay out of the public eye more than others in her family. Zara and the Queen have spent time together at special events at Royal Ascot in the past. During these times, their body language may have shown a glimpse of the close bond. Body language expert Judy James claimed they have shown a joyful and indulgent relationship. She said, this looks like such a joyful and even indulgent relationship between the Queen and her grandchild Zara. It is perhaps made more relaxed because Zara is not an official member of the firm, and so can see and treat the Queen purely as her grandmother, rather than also being her boss. As Zara is not a working royal, her interactions with the Queen may seem different to other royals. Judy suggested the Queen acts purely as her grandmother and not as her boss. When together, the expert claimed their body language represented their strong bonds. She said, there are three key body language signals defining the strong bonds of affection here, their proximity, their touch rituals and their mirroring. Zara is probably the most openly tactile and spontaneous looking member of the royal family as well as being the most good-humoured looking one. Both those qualities seem to have a very positive effect on the Queen, allowing her to be more openly demonstrative than she is seen to be in public with most of her other relatives. Zara has also shown spontaneous gestures in public which appear to be well received by the Queen, Judy added. The expert highlighted one outing where the royals were seen together smiling on a balcony at Royal Ascot. Zara's body language looks more like that of a happy, playful child here as she leans back with both hands on the balcony in front of her, she continued. This, and the very affectionate looking smile she aims at her grandmother, look like an invitation to share the fun. The Queen reciprocates, with a broad, eye-wrinkling smile that involves an upper and lower teeth display. The line of succession to the British throne dictates the order in which each member of the royal family would ascend to the throne.
it is also seen as a ranking of importance with the head of the line, the queen, taking the place of ruler. Older children come before younger children. Traditionally boys came before girls, but this law was changed on March 26, 2015 before the birth of Prince William's first child. Incredibly, Catholics are still excluded from the line of succession, as are children born outside of wedlock. The royals, who usually stick to a strict protocol when appearing in public, often arrive at events in ascending order of importance, with the most important royal arriving last. Prince Charles, 72, is currently first in line to the British throne, followed by Prince William, 39, his oldest son. Then comes Prince William's children, George, 7, Charlotte, 6, and Louis, 3, and they are followed by Prince Harry, 36. Prince Harry is succeeded by his son Archie Harrison, born in May 2019. 